Good afternoon. Once again, I have to uh, present this declaration earlier because of the earlier arrival of His Holiness acting Sankracha of Thailand. So I have to cut short our uh, open discussion. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, draw your attention to our achievement. For the last three days that we have been working together with deliberation, we have learned a lot from each other. Especially, we give inspiration to ourselves. Although we come with the intention to worship the Buddha on the Buddha Day, that is the Vesak celebration, but somehow the impact that we created tend to be the impact to the Buddhist world. The way that our ICDV Executive Committee uh, is requested to celebrate the Vesak outside Thailand. Invitation to go to other countries comes every year. We have heard in this uh, in this morning that a country want to host a Vesak celebration in that country. So it's up to the decision of the executive committee to decide where to celebrate the next year Vesak together. At least two or three countries have sent proposal to me as a chairperson. It is not up to me alone to decide to select the venue of celebration. It's up to the executive committee members to make a choice. That's why we are not in a position to make announcement of the next year, the venue of the next year, Vesak celebration. That is one thing has to be uh, made it clear to this assembly. What implies is that the, the impact of our meeting now is felt around the, the world or the Buddhist community around the world. What we have to do more is that to create more impact to the world at large. But how to do that? For example, what we have tried to do from the beginning is to bring about CBT, Common Buddhist Text. A text that uh, is a comparison of the Buddhist traditions, three Buddhist traditions, the teaching in this tradition, Theravada, Mahaya, and Vajrayana, to be distributed in the Buddhist country or other countries. The idea started from this, uh, our open discussion, and we carry on the project for four or five years. Now it come to a completion, ready for publication or distribution. And here again in this hall, I just heard our friend mentioning about the Buddhist media. When we come together, pull together our resources to create a new Buddhist media in a concerted effort, 
Each and every Buddhist country has its own way of uh, have its own TV, individual radio station for each and every country. Never before that we come together and deliver the message of the Buddha in the same station. Although outside our meeting we talk a lot about this. Even in Thailand we think of having one particular TV for Buddhist broadcasting. Right now we have not less than four uh, cable TVs on Buddhism, but there is not a unified effort to do ever for one channel on the Buddha, uh, Buddhist station. What about the whole world? So proposal of having Buddhist media or like TV or radio should be ta taken seriously by the executive member of ICDV. However, it's not included in our Bangkok Declaration because I just suppose here. Maybe next year, if you like the idea. That is for your consideration. Somehow I would like to say that we, we have come here and learn from each other and get inspiration from each other. Failure and success in each our friend's land can be a reason to us. No doubt, as a host, a host country, Thailand had learned from you and ready to support this kind of celebration every year. That means, although you go to celebrate outside Thailand, one, one or two days stay here and there, but Thai government would take uh, initiative to invite some Buddhist readers to join the celebration in this conference center, UN conference center every year. In spite of going outside Thailand to celebrate the Vesak there, but we reserve one day to come. Because this is a symbol of our celebration. This very venue is a symbol of our unity that we start working together 12 years ago and we will continue to do that. And the way that we have come together uh, to ponder upon the theme Buddhism and World Crisis. The detail of discussion have been reported to you by uh, uh, the, the chair of each panel. We try to incorporate the ideas of your proposal in the Bangkok Declaration. No doubt this is, uh, this cannot uh, include on the proposal or even in the concrete term, but what the drafting committee ha has done is quite an achievement. It is a record of our concerted effort. The declaration signed by the Buddhist readers, Sankaracha Mahanayaka, Buddhist, Buddhist scholars and even political readers, that is, is approved by our leaders. It has been approved already. Become our official declaration. Now it's time to announce this declaration. The following is the text of Bangkok Declaration of the 12th anniversary celebration of the, U of the United Nations Day of Vesak, the year 2015, at the main campus 
มหาจุฬาลงกรณ์ราชวิทยายูนิเวอร์ซิตี้ and at the United Nations Conference Center here the following is the text I will read to you on the 15 December 1999 Representatives from 34 countries proposed to the General Assembly of the United Nations that the full moon day in the month of May be recognized and observed at the United Nations headquarters and its regional office as the United Nations Day of Vesak. The General Assembly so resolved that, and accordingly that, the UN Day of Vesak was instituted in the year 2000 with the support of all Buddhist traditions. In pursuance of the resolution, we participants from 85 countries and regions have come together on May 28 through 30th, 2015, Buddhist era 2558. As in the previous years, the celebration were generously organized by Mahajula Longkorn Raj Vidyalaya University and graciously supported by the Royal Thai government of Thai, uh, under the guidance of the Supreme Sangha Council of Thailand. During the celebrations, we have explored the theme on Buddhism and world crisis, promoting mutual understanding and cooperation between organization and individuals from all Buddhist traditions. At the conclusion of our successful celebration and meetings, we have unanimously resolved as follows. Number one, in honor of the 60th birthday of Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn to publish the common Buddhist text. Number two, also in honor of the 60th birthday of Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn to launch phase one of the Union Catalog of Buddhist Texts, UCBT, which will link the online catalogs for all the Buddhist canons into a single new online catalog, which include creating and launching a technically advanced catalog website for the MCU edition of the Pali Canon and the MCU Thai translation of the Pali Canon. Number three, in solving world crisis of all forms, to urge on parties concerned to a Contemplate the interdependence of sentient beings with other sentient beings and sentient beings with their environment and B, to promote optimism that through compassion and wisdom, we can transform crisis into opportunities for well-being. Number four, to urge all individuals, especially those in position of responsibility, to promote the empowerment of women worldwide. Number five, to urge on governmental and non-governmental bodies to invest more in education to promote mindful education, religious diversity, ethical values and spiritual development among the young and for society at large. As for instance, in the village of the Five Precepts Project in Thailand. Number six, 
to promote personal spiritual transformation and structural changes at the social, economic, legal, and political levels through a simple, contented lifestyle with virtuous ethical principle in order to create an ecologically sustainable environmental community and addresses global warming and environmental degradation to encourage fellow human beings to live with but not exploit the earth and to urge the world community to promote a greater awareness of interconnectedness between human beings and natural environment. Number seven, to comment on the relief efforts for natural disaster and famines, such as the recent earthquake in Nepal, already undertaken by the Buddhist communities worldwide, and to further urge them to pull together their resources to promote this practice of compassion in action. Number eight, to urge on the governments and community within the ASEAN community, together with their neighbors, to find a solution for the dire situation with the Mekong River and its fragile ecosystem. Number nine, to encourage Buddhist readers to strengthen their ongoing interreligious and inter-ethnic and cultural dialogue in order to promote mutual understanding, reconciliation, respect, peace building, and harmony, to create a more integrated society within the ASEAN community and beyond. And number 10, in addressing social problems such as narcotic drugs, ethnic violence, and domestic abuse to employ resources available in the Buddhist traditions, such as the practice of mindfulness, compassion, wisdom, self-responsibility, respect for life and for all people, regardless of social status and gender. As for example, with the use of mindfulness meditation to habilitate prisoners. That is Bangkok decoration done in uh, uh, of the 12th anniversary celebration of the United Nations Day of Vesak, this 30th day of May 2015, Buddhist era 2558. So this is the record of our achievement. So we we should congratulate ourselves with a big applause. This achievement cannot, could not be possible without the support of many sectors, especially the Royal Thai government, the Supreme Sangha Council, and my colleague at Mahajura Lungkorn Raj Vidyalaya University. So we thank them all, and I have to cut short my words of thanks because of the arrival of our acting Supreme Sankaracha. So, in conclusion, I have nothing to say more than being grateful to you all to make this Vesak celebration one of the greatest events in the Buddhist world. We will continue to keep our unity, not only for the sake of Buddha Puja to worship the Buddha, but also for the well-being of humankind. Alone, we cannot achieve everything. Together, we can do many things that seem impossible. What we have done so far was 
วิญญาณอิมเมจิเนชั่นทูเด็กเคสก็บัตรหนาวอิสพอสิบอลบีคอสออฟมินิแฟกเตอร์สไอซิงเดอะมอสอิมเพอร์แทนออฟเดอะแฟกเตอร์อิสนัสซิงบัตอัลเวอร์บูดิสคอมมินิตี้ส์พีโพมีนอะลอตอินรีไรซิงเดอะเอมออฟพีซอินเดอะวอลเวนไอวอสอินไวท์เอ็ดทูดิเวลส์สปีชแอตเดอะเฮดควอเตอร์สออฟเดอะยูเนสโกทรีเยียสอะโกออนบีฮาบออฟไทยบูดิสม On the way s a t u r d a y when I went out of the conference center at the UNESCO headquarters, I came, I came across the pillar, very big pillar, like uh, the edict of UNESCO. Inscribe one sentence in many languages. I can read only English version. Already there. If you happen to go there, like the Edict Pillar, it mentioned the preamble of UNESCO Constitution or UNESCO Charter. The sentence read like this. I still remember it. It is in the mind of men that war begin. And it is in the mind of men that is, that the defense of peace must be constructed. It is in our mind. It begins with our mind. That is UNESCO in preamble. It reflects Buddhist strategy. We start from our mind. Not individual mind, mind of common people who believe in peace, who share the same value. When, after our discussion at UNESCO Assembly Hall, many representatives just comment. If Buddhism, Buddhism is a religion that c h u r c h peace, teach the message of peace. Why not encourage the Buddhists to spread the message of peace throughout the world, so that wherever the Buddhists go, the other religious believer would take this as uh, this is the. Peace-loving people, easy to live with. How can people of other faith understand the message of the Buddhists and have trust in them, so that they can live peacefully with the Buddhists anywhere in the world? This comment echo in my mind, and I just ask myself how to do that. Not only to convey the message of the Buddha to the world community, but also to tell your neighbors that the Buddhists are peace lover, want to live with loving kindness, compassion. And mutual respect, that is the principle of tolerance. We, the Buddhists, in living, show that the teaching of the Buddha on metta, loving kindness, karuna, compassion, still meaningful in our life. The way that we show to them that, in spite of our difference in. Denomination, Nikaya, we can come together and celebrate together, with regardless of our 
different presentation of the Buddha's teaching. We are still brother and sister in under the same founder, that is Sakayamuni Buddha. So this is beautiful. In action, a message in action. I would like this message to be spread all over the world, and it's my dream. And now it come true. I hope that more and more can be achieved from this kind of catering. We will keep hope that you can, you will keep this picture of unity in your mind, full of happiness, and return to your place. So with this word, I thank you all, and uh, wish you a happy journey back to your country. Thank you very much.